If you ever sat me down and wondered what things I am into, then I would have a tough time responding. Being selectively mute aside, my feelings towards a movie, show, or game constantly changes within the months. When I am into something, then I would constantly obsess over that thing slash subject slash human. Any other forms of media, I would have a tough time watching it, but wouldn't even overthink about the possibility of rewatching a TV episode if I was already hyper fixated on it. It becomes a problem when you develop a list of shows that you want to watch, but find it mentally impossible as in my case my mind will think damn Taskmaster series 7 is great I should watch it again and then it devolves into damn James A. Caster is a great comedian I should watch clips on YouTube and then damn Richard A. Awadi is so funny I wish he was on Taskmaster and then finally damn Taskmaster series 7 is so great I should watch it again everything is a flowchart where a thought of action links into something else and then there's a loop sometimes it gets annoying especially for shows like whose line is it anyway where I can't necessarily watch the the full Drew Carey version of the show, and so I end up having to rewatch the same clips on YouTube to fill in the void. Last year, I got to a point where I was so inspired that I decided to slightly delve into theatre. Yeah, hyperfixations aren't all that bad then. I could list all the things that I was fixated on, but there's no point. I don't like talking about myself like that. You, as a viewer person, wouldn't really obtain any knowledge about the fact that I may have watched the entire series of Friends for Bang Theory in the Office US many times in a row. For evidence, ask my mum. In fact, don't ask my mum. That's an invasion of her privacy and mine. I take privacy very seriously, but not as seriously as the Xenoblade Chronicles. Play the f games. Sorry, I went on a tangent. Honestly, I don't believe in stereotypes. Obviously, especially if it's autism related. But yes, when I was young, I also liked dinosaurs. No, just because you like dinosaurs doesn't have to mean you are autistic. If that was the case, the Jurassic Park fanbase would have to be completely insane.